Hi everyone, it's uh, me, Laura. Today I'm going to show you how to add fonts into Zodo on Android 11. Um, we can no longer access the Android data folder through our My, My Files app. There is a workaround around it which after hours of scaring the internet I've managed to find it. So my Zodo is stored on my SD card so that's why it says uh, SD card Android data but it'll either be in your internal storage or on your SD card depending on where you, where you uh, stored it. So this is the article I found and it tells you to download this uh, files app. Um, I did actually try this before making this video and it does work. So we're going to download this files app from the play store uh, by mark apps and software um, I'm just going to show you how to search for it in the Google Play Store so you just search for the word files and it's the files apps mark software that you can see there where my cursor's hovering over it so we click on that and you'll have to download it if you don't have it and then we open it afterwards so here we are then so this is um, the files app so it says there's no data on my SD card however when I go to my tab light and Android data we can see that the Zodo PDF reader is there and my fonts are in my download Zodo file so that's all my fonts there so I actually downloaded a font pack the other day so I have hundreds of fonts but anyway so what we're going to do now is um, head over to a free fonts website so just go into Google and search for free fonts and uh, we're going to choose font space and I'm just going to choose any font I don't already have yet so we'll choose this alloy ink font and uh, we'll download that you can see you just press the download button So once we've downloaded that we extract it and then in the download in your internal storage we're going to highlight it and I usually make a new folder called fonts so I know where it is. So then we go back into this file app and find our download folder. with the fonts and there are your fonts so we now highlight those so we can uh, tick them and then long press and you can move the files and we're just going to drop them into your tablet's main directory so here we are again now we're going to move them we're going to do the same thing again highlight them long press move them to Android we're going to do the same thing again we're going to highlight them long press and move them to data we're going to do the same thing again we're going to find them and we're going to highlight them and long press and move into com zodo pdf reader we're going to open that and then we're going to do the same again, tick them, long press, drop them into files, open the files and then we're going to long press it, tick them and long press again and drop them into downloads. Now we know before that if that from um, previous, if you don't have the Zodo file out of after the files, so files download Zodo. If you don't have the Xodo folder in your downloads, then you have to make one. So now we're going to go back into Zodo and see 
whether it worked. So here we are, this is my PDF planner that I'm using at the moment. And we're going to go down to settings. Scroll down to text annotation fonts. Find the font that you've downloaded. I have hundreds, you might not have so many. They're usually in alphabetical order. I thought it hadn't worked when I went up to the A's and it wasn't there, but it's actually down the bottom. So I keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling all the way down until you find it. And it helps if you can remember what the font was called that you downloaded. So here we are, a alloy ink. So we touch the little square box and highlight it. And then we need to leave the settings. Don't worry about that. I just downloaded the app again because I was trying to find out how to work this. So here we are back on my PDF planner. Um, don't worry about this box. It's because obviously I downloaded the app again. So now then, we're going to find our font that we downloaded in our list of fonts. Again, it's not in the alphabetical order, it's down the bottom here. Yeah, so it will be there. I'll say I downloaded a couple of font packs the other day, so I've got hundreds of fonts. So here we go, A Alloy Ink was the font that we downloaded and there you are there's your font into your Sodo planner so hopefully this worked for you if you have any questions or comments put them in the section below and uh, if you found it helpful share with your friends and hopefully it'll help them out too okay thanks for watching bye